Hi everyone, well it's been a while since I made the videos about Audacity, in fact in that time I've actually upgraded my Camtasia to Camtasia 6. Uh, before I make a video about something completely different I did want to add uh, a little bit about recording on screen audio. A lot of you have pointed out that actually it is possible to record the on screen audio as well as your microphone while you're recording in Camtasia and uh, that's a big lesson to me in remembering that what just because something couldn't be done once upon a time when I first started on Camtasia doesn't mean it can't be done now. In fact with the internet just about anything is possible. What you couldn't do now or what you can't do now you'll probably be able to do in about six months time. Unfortunately having looked into it I still don't have the right setup for it to happen. Um, if you want to check how to do this then go to TechSmith's website techsmith.com. TechSmith are the people who produce Camtasia and they will show you exactly how to troubleshoot this and how to see whether you're able to or not. Essentially though when you go to record in Camtasia 6 if uh, you will get your little toolbar down here uh, with your options click on the options next to the audio and it should bring this up. Now uh, mine does look like this unfortunately and that means that when these two are greyed out you can't record microphone and speaker audio. If those aren't greyed out then click next to that one microphone and speaker audio and you will be able to choose that option and record what's on your screen as well as through your microphone. Now TechSmith, bless their hearts, also offer some other ideas of how you can get round this. Uh, I think mine is a sound card problem so unfortunately that's not going to change anyway soon until I get my new computer. So unfortunately you know that's not going to happen for me but they do offer all sorts of options of how you can try and at least get half decent audio through your computer using uh, mixers or different cables that sort of thing. New sound card that would be quite a good idea as well. So uh, if you've been looking for the way to do this and you want to record your system audio then this is the initial way to do it. If you don't, if you're not able to do it that way then head to TechSmith and see if you can find a workaround.